Good morning and welcome to my Booktubeathon vlog. I will be completely honest with you guys. I had high hopes for this morning, getting the ball rolling, getting things off to a good start. But then when I woke up an hour before I normally would have, because I was going to get some reading done, because there's no way I was staying up till midnight. Um, I looked in my cupboard and remembered that I ran out of coffee yesterday. And I was like, nope, going back to bed. Because there was no way I was going to get up an hour early to read without any coffee. So that was a failure. That said, I got up an hour later um, and haven't got any physical reading done, but I popped in my audiobook, which is Bag of Bones by Stephen King. It's a pretty long audiobook. It's going to take me a while to get through. Um, and I've listened to a whole chapter. <laughs> so um, that's my start to book two with on. I'm just currently on the way to the office. If you've watched my vlogs before, you know I'm not typically a morning person and my hair is still wet. It dries on the way to work. It's how we do things around here. Um, so I'm just walking down to the SkyTrain and uh, I think it's just Crystal and I in the office today. We might film some videos, get some work done after the weekend and yeah, it's gonna be a good day. My first physical book, which uh, the coin toss decided for us, if you haven't seen our TBR video, um, is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness, which is an arc. It comes out in September. I'm so, so excited to read it. So as soon as I get onto the train, I'll crack that baby open and get reading. I'll check in a bit. I made it to work. I am the only one here. Crystal's coming in in a bit, but um, Karina and Robert are on vacation and Sally has a dentist appointment for Sally. Um, so it's just me right now. Sally should be here. I'm sorry. Crystal should be here soon though. Um, so on the way to work, I got through... Let's sit, sit down for a moment. Okay, how much should I get through? Do, do, do. 57 pages of And the Ocean Was Our Sky. This is like a uh, reimagining of Moby Dick, where the whales are the hunters. Um, I don't really know the story of Moby Dick, um, but I am enjoying it still. I think it's a, Patrickness is just has such beautiful writing. Um, I'm really excited to see what this book looks like when it's done, because it is fully illustrated. Um, like, kind of like a Monster Calls. Um, so, and there is art in here, but it's not finished art, so I definitely, definitely will be picking up a finished copy of this one. Um, it's not very long, I will definitely finish this today. Um, I'm just gonna make some coffee, because, you know, coffee, need that. Uh, it's 10 in the morning and I haven't had coffee. And then I'll keep listening to Bag of Bones while I make the coffee and kind of get set up for the day until Crystal gets here and then we'll get rocking. Um, there is a challenge for today which is to recreate a book cover using stuff. Basically you just have like, like blankets and towels or whatever. Um, so I haven't decided what book I'm going to try to recreate. I think I am going to do that because it looks fun. The day's off to a good start now that I'm at the office. I bought some coffee at the grocery store on the way to the office for tomorrow, so I am prepared now. And I, tomorrow, hopefully, I will get up early and do some reading because have caffeine, can read. All right, so I am gathering supplies for today's video challenge, and today's video challenge is book attack, which is like art attack. And I think I'm gonna do, or I'm gonna try to do, a list of cages by Robin Rowe. And what you have to do is like recreate the book cover out of household things. So I have yellow sticky notes. I have a white towel, still gathering supplies, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> video filmed. 
that was fast. Um, I'm gonna edit that really quickly right now and get it uploading. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch. No more reading getting done yet, but we'll get there. All right, update time with Crystal. Hi guys, what are you reading? I am reading Caddyshack, The Making of a Hollywood Cinderella Story. It's cute. I am reading it while wearing my hat, mm -hmm. and it is my book that won the coin toss. I am not reading anything right now because I'm working, <laughs> but <laughs> I think we're gonna go get ice cream. Yeah, In we like are. 10 minutes because it's hot and we deserve ice cream, and then I might eat it and read for a few minutes. And after that, I have to put in all of our reps into our like shipping program Ooh, for their fun. for their August boxes. So that's mindless enough that I can listen to an audiobook while Perfect. I do it. So multitasking at work, guys. Alright, I just posted our YouTube video. Gonna get a little bit more done and then we're gonna go get ice cream. Alright. Ice cream achieved. What'd okay. you get? An Oreo sandwich. It's a kadoozy! <sighs> it's so hot out here. It's gross, guys. It's gross. <laughs> Uh, this is, we walked it's literally like a block and a half in the small block and a half <laughs> to the corner store I'm over it and we're over it back inside back to the fan <laughs> <laughs> Bye Crystal Bye guys. See you tomorrow yeah. Fun in Vancouver smeared all over yourself your neighbor and friends think about it it's gross please Try not to eat or drink on trip. Thank Alright, good evening. It is getting towards the end of the first day of the Booktubeathon. Um, I went for a little adventure after work. It took me about two and a half hours to get home. So I got through a lot more of my audiobook of Bag of Bones by Stephen King. I'm now... Let me do an update. How many pages did I read today? So I listened to the first about 263 pages of this. I'm enjoying it so far. It's quite different than any of the other Stephen King books I've read. This will be my ninth, I believe. Um, so I still have quite a few to get through. But the last one I read of him, Dreamcatcher, was a real dud in my books. So hopefully I like this one more. And I also just finished my first book. And that is And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness. Um, this book is kind of like a take on Moby Dick from the whale's perspective. Um, not even like the whales. It's anyways. It's um I don't know how to describe it. I f I am not incredibly familiar with the story of Moby Dick, so I think I would have liked this more. I did really like it, but I would have liked it even more had I known that story. It's never one that I've got really gotten into. Someday, it's long. <laughs> I will say though, the writing in this was very gorgeous, beautiful writing, which surprised me not at all. Um, I am so looking forward to getting a finished copy because there's going to be all this amazing artwork in it. Um, and this one is, it was, wasn't very long, it was a pretty quick read, but this one took, is 160 pages. So, so far that's 425-ish pages today, which is pretty good. Although I will say, this Bag of Bones audiobook was supposed to last for me most week and I'm halfway through it and it's day one so we'll see how that goes don't think I have any audiobooks of any of the other ones um if you haven't seen our TBR video I'll kind of like go through um the books I'm planning to read really quickly um this is Saga Volume 8 and it's for the challenge of read a book while wearing a hat so that's that challenge. Um, read and watch a book to movie adaptation. I actually was going to get this out from the library, but then I found it at a thrift store for a dollar, so I bought there are holes, and the, the DVD is from the library. But, so this will be a quick read. I might... This might be my next physical read, because I'm not a big movie watcher, and I very much have to be in the mood to watch a movie, and I'm not really in the mood to watch a movie, so the quicker I read this, then I'll have more time like more days to potentially knock this one out in some evening. Um, apparently it's a really good movie, but I just... Not, uh, not in the mood to watch movies. Um, the other ones are, for Green on the cover, Miles Morales. Something you want to do. We're going to bookstore the storied life of A.J. Fickery. Um, this is... Oh, Pretty Spine. 
And then this is the other one. I'm not missing this one from my to to coin toss flip. This was the loser, but I do want to read this still this week. And that's my TBR. So, I think my battery is flashing at me, so I'm going to say goodbye for the evening, probably. I'm kind of tired. Um, it's not. I mean, it's 8 p.m. I probably will get some more reading done tonight. I have some organizing to do, so I will also keep listening to my audiobook. Because it is hooking me. It's more romantic than any other Stephen King book I've read. Which is not a bad thing. But, but yeah, so that's day one. Doing pretty good. Excited for the rest of the week. Um, in one hour, they'll be announcing the video challenge for tomorrow. So I'm gonna, I'm eagerly awaiting to see what that is because we just posted our the challenge from today and that was a lot of fun. So looking forward to doing it a little bit more this week. All right, hope you have a good night. Good morning, folks. I did it. I got up an hour before I had to. Actually, like an hour and a half before I had to. I'm a last minute sleeper. Um, I've showered. I've put on clothing, I've made coffee, um, I put on my makeup, can't really tell, I'm not wearing very much, I don't feel like it, it's too hot. Um, and I've been listening to my audiobook by Steven. And so I'm 330 pages through Bag of Bones now. I do think I'll probably, I probably will finish it today. Oops. Um, and. I made the- I know I said in my last update that I think my next read was going to be Holes to give me lots of time to watch the movie, but then I was looking through my books and I made the executive decision to start I'm Not Missing by Carrie Fountain because I think this is going to take me the longest to read simply because it is the longest book on my TBR. It also- um, it had, the type is slightly smaller. I don't think it's like- it won't take me like forever. It's like you know, YA contemporary that's- 350 pages long or something. It's not huge, but um, it is the longest. So I think this is the one I'm gonna do. It also has some really long chapters, and long chapters tend to like get to me sometimes. So I think this one would be the most difficult to read. So I'm going to read it next. I started it. I got through the first chapter last night, and I liked it. Oh no! Oh, goodness. Um, it's not even that early. It's 7:30. I'm a baby. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna sit down and read a chapter of this before I make breakfast. And then, yeah, not that exciting. Just got up, thought I would update. Um, it's supposed to be slightly less hot today. And by slightly less, I mean it's still gonna be like 28 degrees, which is not my fave, but that's okay. We have more things to film today. I. Uh, I'm filming my July wrap up, and I think it's just me in the video, which is a bit of a bummer, but oh well. Um, and then we'll film the challenge for today, which I saw last night is like building a house of books, like a house of cards, um, but you have a 30 second time limit, so that shouldn't take too long to film and throw up on the channel either. But yeah, alright, I'm gonna get reading for a little bit. Talk soon. New plan. I did read a long chapter of I'm Not Missing, um, and I enjoyed it. But it's also, it's gonna be really hot again today, as I said before, and it's not hot right now. So I'm like, why don't I just do my commute now? And then there's a park by the office, and then I can just do my reading in the park until I have to go to work. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Although, I know the sky drain is gonna be full of commuters at this time. I go in a little bit later, so I uh, tend to miss the worst of rush hour. But uh, today I'll get the brunt of it, but at least it's not hot yet. But yeah, so I think that's that's the plan, to enjoy being outside without melting. Um, and yeah, I'm in, a, I'm in a decent mood today. All right, made it to the park. It is, what time is it? 9.15. So I can hang out here for about half an hour. Um, and I'm gonna keep reading, I'm not missing. I'm now, after transit and everything, I'm now 87 pages into this. And I'm actually really, really enjoying it. So that's good. Um, hopefully I can get to page 100 before going to work. Um, yeah, so I'm just hanging out in the park. It's actually cool. Like I was a little bit cold, but I can feel it like rapidly warming up now. And it's also breezy. Just people 
out by watching me do this. This is how I know I'm not ready to film today. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. You guys are, I'm happy you're doing it with me. I was like, am I alone? <laughs> no, I actually watch. Cool. How's that? How's that? Hello. So Crystal and I actually already filmed the video challenge for today. I, like a silly, forgot to vlog it. Um, but today's challenge was to build a house of books, like a house of cards. And we went head to head. And I won-ish kind of one. We're gonna say I won. <laughs> um, so that video will be going up later today. Um, at the park I read a bunch more. I'm on chapter 9, 100, page 132 of I'm Not Missing and I am really really enjoying this book like way more than I thought I was going to. I yeah I'm so far it's a five-star book so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm excited to make lunch so I can read a chapter while I eat. Um, I think in a few minutes Sally and I are going to film our July wrap-up which should be going up on our channel tomorrow. Um, just the two of us this month uh, but that's okay. So for now just doing some more work. Hopefully we'll read a chapter over a lunch break but that's all for now. Good evening. So I have made it home from work. Um, when I got home I ate dinner and then I immediately started reading I'm Not Missing Again and read the entire rest of the book. Um, I loved this book. Like, it has, I think when I went on to Goodreads, it only had like 127 ratings or something. So I recommend this, 100%. It came out um, on July 10th, so it's a recent release. Um, I haven't heard anybody talking about this and I loved it. So, five stars. So pleased with this. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna get through this today and I did so I'm happy. Um, I haven't finished Bag of Bones which is fine. Um, this something just happened in here that I was like no. It's kind of like a very brutal sexual abuse scene that was quite graphic. Um, I mean it's Stephen King it's a lot of terrible characters doing terrible things but just didn't need that in my life um so anyways it's kind of put a damper on my enjoyment of the book i am almost done though and i will finish um and it is I'm on chapter 27 of or 28 sorry i'm listening to the audiobook and like having the book so i'm very close to the end though i think i might have less than two hours left of the audiobook so I doubt I'll finish this tonight um because I'm on a high I just like I literally just finished this before setting up the camera and I'm in a good mood from this book so I don't really want to dive back into this right now. That's my next physical read. Hmm. Might be going back to holes again. I do need to read this so I can have time to watch the movie but it is only day two. We are doing well so I'm two for two so far um which is great super happy with that and uh I think that means I read 32 books in the month of July which is pretty sweet but yeah I think now tonight I'm gonna watch last night's American Ninja Warrior episode because I love that show and have some tea and just chill out maybe and I'll probably start another book at some point but I will probably won't be checking in again tonight but I will check back in with you guys in the morning oh my gosh you guys I'm so sorry it's day two and you haven't really seen the Steven yet. Oh, are you un unimpressed with me? He's mad too. He's also hot. We're all hot, buddy. What? Yeah. Good kitty. Good kitty. No, oh, evil kitty. Evil kitty. <laughs> we'll see more of him later. Good morning, book two with on day three is here. Uh, it is just after 10. I've actually already started working but I didn't update, so I'm gonna update you. Um, last night I did finish Bag of Bones by Stephen King. Meh. Still not my favorite with Stephen King book I've read. I think I'm gonna give it two stars. Yeah, not my fave. Um, but it's done. And I realized Scribd has the audiobook of Holes, so I think I'm gonna start listening to that. Um, I usually speed up my audiobooks because I just like, I'm so used to quick talking like speeding them up that it like 
almost drives me crazy sometimes to listen to them at normal speed but I'm gonna try to listen to this one at normal speed only because I need to, I want it to last longer <laughs> which is a kind of a weird problem to have oh, hey Steven hey Steven come here <laughs> So Stephen and I oh, is not cooperating. There we go. Stephen and I are working from home today. Aren't we? <laughs> um, today's challenge is book dominoes. And I didn't want to do that with Karina's books. So I'm going to, so I stayed at home for it today and I'm going to do it with my books. Because, you know, if there's any casualties, then only my books will be affected. <laughs> Don't do it with other book, other people's books, kids. That's not safe. <laughs> um, later, it's a pretty busy day. I have to update. It's renewal day for the, our subscribers. Um, we have to update book club. I think we're going to start reading My Plain Jane. Um, I have a couple of reps to email. I have um, our July wrap-up video to edit. And what else do I have to do? Oh, and film Domino's challenge, among other things. And then later, I think I need, I need to go. Out and buy, I think I need. No, I need to go out and buy groceries because my fridge is looking real sparse right now. And girl needs a salad, <laughs> so I'm gonna go buy some groceries later. I think. But for now, I'm gonna knuckle down and work for a bit, um, and then I'll try to film me setting up. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the Domino challenge yet, but I will make sure to film that when the time comes, so stay tuned. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be mad. Oh fail, oh fail, oh fail. Well, we're gonna go with it. To the sea. This one should work, guys, right? This is a beautiful looking sea. Yay! Alright, not my best work, but we're going with it. If you haven't noticed, Steven likes to be close to me at all times. Ow, ow, and also be a brat. Ah, Steven! <laughs> what a brat. <laughs> How rude. How rude. Alright, so it is ten past one. I have put up the challenge video. I'm currently exporting the July wrap-up that Sally and I filmed yesterday. And I'm going to go out and find some lunch and come back. Um, but I'm gonna wear my hat when I go out in case that I find some lunch at a cafe or something and I wanna stop. And I can read Saga Volume 8 because that's my challenge for wear the same hat the whole time. I don't know if I actually will, but I'll wear my hat in, in anticipation of doing that. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna run out quickly and then come right back. So we'll see you in a bit. update. Um, I've read a grand total of zilch today um, and listened to some of Holes while I was out and about um, at lunchtime. I wore my hat but I didn't read Saga so I was a failure. Um, I think I'm finishing up work for the day now. I've just went and deleted a whole bunch of old Instagram like story mentions and stuff that I've been piling up in the Owlcrate account because I read a lot of them which is awesome. But then after 24 hours, it's like, oh yeah. But so I was doing that for a while. And I think now I'm going to clean up the mess I made doing book dominoes, because I haven't done that. And I'm gonna start a book. Which book is up for debate? But I will let you know what I what I pick up. My mom is also gonna make dinner. I bought a bunch of vegetables and groceries and stuff, and then I got home and I realized I didn't really buy anything to make a meal. So it's just like I guess I can, I can make a salad. We'll probably make a salad. That's probably a healthy choice. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish up work and then uh, read something. Maybe fi AG Fickery? We'll see. I'll let you know. So dinner is cooking, so I think I'm going to 
I don't know what to read next, so I'm gonna do like the try chapter tag thing. So I'm gonna read a chapter from Wanderlust, a chapter from The Storied Life of AJ Fickery, and a chapter from Miles Morales and see which one I'm gonna pick up next. Hopefully I like all the chapters because I have to read all these books this week. But. So I'm gonna do that while dinner is cooking. All right, I'm back. I ate dinner and I read my three chapters. So I started with Miles Morales. The first chapter was 12 pages long. It was good. I enjoyed it. And I'm excited to read this, but that's not gonna be my first read. First read? Not first read, next read. And then I read the first chapter of The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery. This one was a bit longer. Now on page 25, which is a quite a big chunk of the book, actually, because it's like only a 250 page book. Um, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I'm so excited to read this. I'm pretty sh this is going to be my next read. I'm like, I'm, I'm so obsessed already. It's just like, they've already like talked about like publishing sales reps and arcs and galleys and making all these literary references and talking about genre and he, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. If you're a book lover, I mean, I obviously, have, obviously haven't finished yet, but I think Unless something changes a lot after those first 25 pages, this is going to be a five-star read. And then I finished off with reading the first chapter of Wanderlost, which is uh, 13 pages long. And this went away. I wasn't expecting... I haven't read the synopsis for this. I have like a vague kind of notion about what it's about, but I didn't really realize how the first chapter was going to go. And so I'm intrigued. I'm, it, she goes to Europe. She's not in Europe yet. So I mean, I'm excited to read this, but I'm more excited to read this. So uh, this is definitely what I'm going to be keeping on with. Um, I didn't commute today. And when I don't commute, I do a lot less reading because I don't spend two hours like, on the train. <laughs> so um, not as much reading done today. I probably will finish Holes tonight though. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do for an audiobook. I can't not have an audiobook. I need it for when I'm walking places. It just what I do. Um, so I'll figure something out for that. Um, I don't think there's any audiobooks of these bad boys um, that I have access to without buying it. And I don't really want to buy it. <laughs> Library all the way. But anyways, um, so yeah, I'll probably do a little bit more reading tonight. But tomorrow I'm back in the office, so I have I want to finish this tomorrow. So I'm still on track. I finished Holes tonight. And I finished this tomorrow. Things are going well. Because I finished two books so far, so. Everything is a... Oh, no, I finished three books so far. Oh, everything's fine. I got this, guys. Update. It's really only been maybe 10 minutes since I talked to you last, but I didn't realize I was, like, pretty much done Holes. Um, so, yay, done. This is book number four of the Readathon. I liked it. It was a good story. It was good. I'm looking forward to watching the movie. I think it will be a one that will probably adapt, adapt well. Um, and then I also have... Uh, this is the new plan. Okay, so this is the Book of Negroes by Lawrence Hill. Um, I have the audiobook of this, and it was I was not anticipating reading it for the readathon, but it's long. So, again, I'm not even going to start it tonight. I'm going to try not to start it tonight. Um, so it'll, I, I need I need it to last. I don't want to listen to like all audiobooks this week. But so this is up next. I've been wanting to read this for years. I finally found a copy. Have an audiobook. So this this will be an extra read. So I still need to read all of my original books, but this will be my next audiobook. But yeah. So that's the new plan. Good morning. To a time day four. Uh, it's late. It's like eleven. Um, it's also my birthday. I'm thirty years old today which is a whole other conversation. Um, but I woke up with a kind of a, a bad headache this morning, so I took some painkillers and slept a little bit longer, so that's why it's so late. But I'm on the way to the office now, um, so I'm carrying all this stuff today, so that's why I feel encumbered. But I'm really excited to keep reading AJ Fickery on the train. Um, I'm just, like, obsessed already, so that's what I'm gonna do. I do have the book of Negroes growing, it's only the very beginning of it so far. It's good. I have really not. I'm on the first chapter, so I can't really have an opinion yet. But yeah, so that's what's going down now. 
Um, we have a Facebook live show unboxing of the July, July? Yes, July Owl Crate Junior box going up later and Crystal and Sally are doing that today. Um, and as far as work thing goes, that's kind of it. I mean, obviously I have other work things to do, but nothing exciting. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to do the book two with my challenge today. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll check back in once I get to work. So Crystal's trying to decide if she wants to do the video challenge of the day. So we're doing a prototype. See if it works out. <laughs> We're still undecided if we're gonna do it. We could, we might, we might not. We'll see. Yeah, but written like a novel. Like it really didn't feel like I was reading nonfiction. Mostly because I knew all the characters in it as pop culture characters. Yeah. Even though they're real people. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
different job than AJ Fickery's job as a bookstore owner, but book people are book people. And this book just hit home. It, it hit me right in the feels, clearly. Um, it spans over a period of time, quite a long period of time, starting with the man who, AJ Fickery, who has recently been, is a widower, and uh, him literally stumbling across this two-year-old child in his bookstore that was abandoned there. And he ends up adopting this child, and it like spans years of his life and kind of of being a book person, and and it's just and like this community of Alice Island where they live and how this bookstore they they bring this community together, and I just it's a, it's a sim it's simple it's a simple story, and. Uh, but I just, I loved it. I loved it so much. This is probably one of my favorite books I have ever read in my life. So, just throwing that out there. Um, I know I'm home alone on the evening of my 30th birthday, which is fine. I've done other things to celebrate my birthday um, earlier in the month, so I didn't need to do anything on the day of my birthday. But as far as birthdays goes, reading this was a, I will always remember finishing this book on my 30th birthday, so. Oh, man. This is amazing. You should read it. It's a book for book people. So, and if you're watching this, chances are you're a book person. So, Mwah. good morning. It's day five of the book two is on. Um, I didn't get any more reading done last night because, well, I finished AJ Fickery and I didn't want to read anything else after that. So, that's that. Um, I'm a few chapters into Book of Negroes now. It's good. Um, and I've started, I'm just about at the office, but I started Wander Lost. Well, not started, because I read the first chapter the other night. Um, and it's a cute little contemporary so far. Not too much has happened. Um, I'm only like 50 pages in or something, so. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so just about to head to the office. Have a few things to film today with Crystal. And just get ready for the weekend. It's a long weekend, so it's exciting. Um, can't believe it's already day five of the book two on. Time is flying. But yeah, pretty happy with my progress so far. And uh, I am excited to get to the office because I'm actually really hungry for breakfast. So let's go do that. Done at the office for the weekend. Just locked up, heading home. Didn't do any reading today because, well, work was happening. Um, it's a long weekend here in BC, so three-day weekend, which is pretty exciting. Um, it's so nice out right now. It's like it's a little bit cloudy. It's kind of cool. I have a sweater on. It feels great. This is my kind of weather. Um, gonna pick up some groceries on the way home again and. Yeah, no big plans for this evening. Do not lead a very interesting life, as you can see. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm excited. Robert and Karina and I are back on Tuesday, so I'm excited to see them again. It's been a pretty good week. And yeah, that's all I can tell you. Wanderlust, not my favorite thing I've read ever so far, but still intrigued. Still gonna keep going. And, uh, I realized I still have four books I want to finish for the end of the readathon. This one, Saga Volume 8, The Book of Negroes, and Miles Morales. But I got two days, spider, hanging. <laughs> I got two days to get it done, so I think I can do it. So I just got home, and I'm hot, and I'm sweaty, but there was a package waiting for me that I've been waiting for, for months, over six months. Um, I backed a Kickstarter. Uh, several months ago. Steven, do not knock over my camera. Or get stabbed. Um, <laughs> Steven is rubbing his face on the camera. Don't do that. And this is a deck of cards, of all things, that is 
a Name of the Wind, like by Patrick Rothfuss, their amazing fantasy novel that if you haven't read, you should. Um, like official art deck. Um, I can't get in and I want in so bad. Let's go. I've been waiting for this in such, oh yeah, I forgot I bought two. I got two art decks. This is so exciting. Got the fun green bubble wrap. Oh, it's a bubble bag. Oh, what is happening to my hair? I'm a so, such a mess. So, I don't remember what the deal is. Um, I, I don't remember all the details. I'm going to have to look it up again. But I got two art decks, so I'm just going to open one. Um, these are so pretty. I'm so excited. I've never, have you guys backed a lot of Kickstarters before? It's not, oops, Steven literally just rubbed his hand and knocked over the camera. Have you guys backed a lot of Kickstarters before? Because I haven't. And it's definitely something I would like to do more. You definitely need to have like a sense of uh, patience around it because, you know, these things have to be made after the Kickstarter's over. But, okay, the reveal. Da, da, da. Ooh, they're soft. Ooh, they're so pretty, oh my gosh, okay. I mean, I'm gonna have to like reference who all these characters are, but like, just look that art how beautiful is that i'm so excited oh my god they're so soft and i keep them like slippery so i oh my goodness oh i'm so excited about these sorry this might not be exciting to you but i've been waiting for these forever and i'm thrilled with them I don't even know what I'm gonna do with these. They're literally probably just gonna sit with my books because I'm never wanna, I'm gonna wanna play, actually play cards with them because they're too pretty. But yeah, so that's my update. I got some dinner on the way home. I'm gonna eat that and I'm still reading. It took me a long time to get home. It took like, I took a weird route and then the bus never showed up and you know, rush hour in the city. It's never uh, reliable, but I, so, but I got a lot of reading done. So I'm still, I think I'm about halfway done Wander Lost. Wander Lost and uh, it's, I feel like I've been reading it for a, I mean, I literally started it today. I read the first chapter a couple days ago, but like I literally started it today. And uh, it's so, but I feel like I've spent a lot of hours reading it because of my commuting and I'm only halfway done. And that's only like 160 pages. So I don't know, it's, I'm not convinced so far, but cute boy just showed up and cute boys usually a good thing. So we'll see, they're about to go on a Sound of Music tour. So I'm into that. But yeah, so that's my update. I'm gonna eat some dinner and uh, my house looks like a small bomb exploded in here. So I don't know what I'm doing this weekend. But yeah, I'll check in later. All right, good morning. Having a bit of a late start today. I slept in, I have a bit of a headache, which is annoying. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like 11 o'clock, which is, I don't know, uh, not ideal, but I'm showered, I'm up. Um, it's the weekend, everything is fine. Um, Steven did a bad thing. I'll show you the bad thing. This is my book. This is what Steven did to my book. He's in the bad, he's in the naughty corner right now. No, he's not really. He's just sitting right beside me. But how rude, Steven. Um, so plans today are up in the air. I might, I kind of feel like being outside, it's going to be hot today, but not like exceptionally hot. It's going to be like 25 degrees. So I would like to go out in nature. Um, I would like to finish Wanderlust today and hope maybe Saga as well, because I still haven't done that. It's going to be so easy to read that. I don't know why I haven't just like that. I haven't done it in one sitting, but I need to bring my hat with me. But I might go out to Coquitlam um, to go to Chapters. On the train, maybe? I don't know. I'll let you know when I decide. All right, change of plans, I think. I'm walking to the SkyTrain, and I think I'm gonna go to Metrostown instead of Coquitlam, because it's closer, and I'm tired. But I'm like, not 100% sure. But you have to get uh, go different directions um, to get to Metrostown, or to go to Coquitlam. So I think I'm gonna go to Metro Town, but by the time I get to the Sky Train station, I would not be entirely surprised if I changed my mind and went the other way. So, yeah, we'll see where I end up. Hello. Not being a very good vlogger today. 
So I ended up going to neither of the locations that I said I was going to, and I went to a place called Lougheed, um, which is kind of halfway to Coquitlam. Um, and they have a Coles there, so I went to Coles is like an offshoot of Chapters Indigo. But I got some books, so shall I show you what I got? Because I got some deals. I also got, okay, so first up, this mug is so exciting. Look, how cute. Um, and that is so, I love it. It's gonna be my new go-to mug, I think, but it was only $5, so stoked on this little guy. And then I picked up a copy of The Darkest Legacy by Alexander Bracken. Um, this just came out. I really enjoyed The Darkest Minds trilogy when I read it a few years ago. So, boom boom. Excited to read that. And then I got three classics. They were three for ten dollars. And I love these editions. I kind of collect these editions. Um, they're my preferred editions of classics and I have tons of them now. But I have Mansfield Park by Jane Austen, which I haven't read. I've read most of her novels, but this one I haven't. And they're all in this edition, so now these were three for ten bucks. Um, the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, which I also haven't read. So, and finally, well, this is kind of on trend with this vlog, but uh, I got Moby Dick. I know. Why did I buy Moby Dick? So, like, Audible had, like, on, like, audiobook day, Audible was giving away free copies of Moby Dick, so I have an audiobook of Moby Dick, which makes me more inclined to try to pick it up, but I feel like after reading and the ocean was our sky and really enjoying it, I should read Moby Dick, but it's so big. This edition has tiny writing, not very big margins, and it's 540 pages. So that's a thing, but it's on my shelf now. We'll see what happens. And then I got the last book I got was Emergency Contact because I read this from the library um, last month and I enjoyed it and I wanted my own copy. It's annoying though in Canada they started doing this thing where some books come out in paperback instead of hardcover. So this one's paperback, but it was $15 instead of $18, so I saved a few dollars. But yeah, and I just love this cover. I think it's beautiful. On the train, I read more Wanderlust. Um, I'm now 217 pages in, so I have like 100 pages to go, just over 100 pages to go. So hopefully we'll still get through that today. And then I listened to a bit more of the book of Negroes, and I think I'm... I think I have like eight hours left of the audiobook, but I listened to it at two times speed, so I have four hours left. So between cleaning my house and running errands and stuff, I'm pretty confident I'll finish that before the end of the readathon. Glad I picked it up though. Um, I'm not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed Lawrence Hill's other book I read, The Illegal, um, but it is still very much enjoyable. So yeah, I think for now, I finally got coffee. It's like three o'clock, it's three o'clock, and I'm just having coffee. This headache's annoying me. But yeah, so that's that's all that's happening now. We have lots of reading to do over the next couple days, so. Hey, you doing? You want a bit? Silly. Done. Um, I finished it. I didn't hate it. And I didn't love it. No, I was alright. I'm not sure what I'm gonna rate it. A two or a three. But I know a lot of people do really, it has pretty good ratings on Goodreads, so it might have just been a me situation. But yeah. But now I only have. The only novel I need to finish that's not audiobook is um, Miles Morales. So I'm gonna dive into that soon, I think. Um, I, just, I read the first chapter the other night and I don't think it's, it's gonna take me long to read. So one more day, 
about eight hours of audiobook, one volume of a graphic novel, and Miles Morales. We got this. So I filmed a clip earlier kind of saying my game plan for the day, but I was a sneezy mess. So we're gonna try again. I've taken some allergy medication and it's kicked in. Um, allergies this morning, great. So game plan for the day. Need to finish Miles Morales. Need to finish the hat challenge. Need to watch Holes. Need to finish my audiobook. We can do it. Um, I'm just waiting for my first load of laundry to come out of the dryer so I can get properly dressed. I'm gonna get out of my jammies and then I'm gonna hit the road for a little bit I think um, and by hit the road I mean I'm gonna take a bus into Burnaby because there's a used bookstore that I've only been to once but when I was there I found a signed copy of Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson by Brandon Sanderson Blech. um so I think I'm gonna try to go back to that used bookstore just because why not there's nothing really I'm on the hunt for I just I feel like I need to get out to do these do these challenges. Holes we probably won't have until tonight. Um, I don't want to watch Holes. Wait. I'm sure I'll like it as soon as I put it on. I'm just not in the mood to watch a movie. Uh, yeah, so I did a little bit of Owl Crate stuff this morning, and now in about 20 minutes I should be on the go. Um, I think I'm gonna stop somewhere and get a smoothie. I made a smoothie at home yesterday, but I'm kind of like lacking in ingredients, and it was real bland. But I drank it anyways. But I think I'm gonna treat myself to a smoothie and that's all that's all I'll talk again in a bit Bye. I didn't vlog inside the bookstore because I felt awkward and there was nobody else in there but me and the clerks we were very nice but pulling out my camera felt odd so I didn't um, but I did find two books I got this one Pax which is a really cute middle grade novel that I've been wanting to read for a long time and and, 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 and it was cheap it was like nine dollars and the second the royal assassin which is the second book in that Robin Hobb trilogy that I started a couple months ago and enjoyed, so I'm excited to carry on. And that one was like five bucks. Um, I'm in the park now. I got a little iced tea. It's strawberry cucumber iced tea lemonade, so, but it's hot out, so I wanted something. And then, where else? Well, was, I also read a bunch of Miles Morales. How much? I'm on page 161, so I have about 100 pages left. We're doing good. And now, last day of the readathon. I can't put it on my hat, but I'm gonna sit down and read Saga while you mate in the park and then enjoy the out the hide because it is it's like 25 degrees. So it's not that hot, but it's like hot enough. But sitting in the shade, enjoy my lemonade and get some reading. It's hot. Alright, so I made it home. I finished my challenge of a read. A book with a hat on the same hat on the entire time saga volume 8 was not my favorite volume I've read um, this one is especially dark and violent and gory and you know which is you can come to expect if you read saga um, I liked it but it definitely isn't my favorite volume I've read and then I also finished the audiobook for book of Negroes so and another book that I I really enjoyed the story. It definitely came together in a way I really liked. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna write. I still like The Illegal more, but if you haven't read Lawrence Hill, I do recommend his stuff. And then I so all I have to do is finish Miles Morales and Wash Holes. So we are making progress. I'm just gonna do a few chores, and then I'm gonna sit down and knock off the rest of this book. It's only like four o'clock, so we got this. So I'm starting to make myself some dinner. I have holes playing in the living room. 
and uh, we're getting this done. We're getting this done. I'm going to succeed at booktube with them. I did it. I won booktube with them. Won. Succeeded. Did all the challenges. Um. <sighs> it's been a good week. I am very pleased with how I did. I have a little recap. Uh, the first book I read from a coin toss was And the Ocean Was Our Sky by Patrick Ness. Really enjoyed this. Can't wait to get a final copy. And then... Oh, I'm missing one. <laughs> Hold up. I listened to Bag of Bones by Stephen King um, on audiobook. This didn't... My plan was to read this throughout the entire week and then I finished it in two days. Didn't love it. Moving on. Uh, and then I read I'm Not Missing by Carrie Fountain and I loved this book and I gave it five stars and it doesn't have- it has like under 200 reviews, well under 200 reviews on Goodreads so you should pick this up because it just came out earlier in July and I loved it and I think we'll, we'll straight it. And then and then... What did I- what did I read next? It was- oh. Oh, I think I then did the audiobook of Holes. Um, I am currently watching Holes. It's like, I'm like half an hour into the movie, but I will be finishing it tonight. I just wanted to get this done. Um, this was fun, good, I understand why it's such a classic story. Uh, and then I read one of my new favorite books ever, The Storied Life of A.J. Fickery. Love this, got all emotional as you saw. Um, amazing. And then I read, oh my goodness, how many so far? One, two, three, four, five. Nine. Wow, I did nine books this week. Um, Wanderlust by Jen Malone. Pretty average YA contemporary road trip thing. Um, and then I finished Book of Negroes. Uh, enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite thing. I'm out of focus. Focus. Um, enjoyed it. it, wasn't my favorite thing. Um, I'm glad to have read it. It was uh, very interesting about kind of this period of time where I didn't know too much about this topic. So yeah, it was good. I recommend it. And then I did the hat challenge and I read all of Saga Volume 8. Another not my favorite volume, I think Volume 7 or like the first volume might be my favorite. but. Still good, still enjoy it, still am super into this series. And then I just finished Miles Morales by Jason Reynolds. Um, I... We'll, we'll go into our wrap up and I'll give a little bit more thoughts, but uh, I liked it for some aspects, but also it's a 260 page book and it felt a bit boring. I was a bit bored, so... I liked it for some things and I didn't like it for others, but yes, but done. So that's nine books, guys. Like, I'll try to stack them up here. Pretty, that's a pretty good reading week, <laughs> I think. Yeah, so a couple of new favorites and a couple duds, but overall, super pleased. Um, and if you stuck around this long, thank you for watching my vlog. I don't do too many exciting things in the evening and this week was like particularly boring, but it is what it is. You know, not every week is gonna be a exciting week, but yeah, so life goes back to normal tomorrow. And, but you know me, I'm gonna start another audiobook tonight and it's just gonna, you know, gotta keep going, gotta keep going. Thanks so much for watching and I will check in with you guys later. Bye.